How's it going everybody? It's time for another great Mr. Postal video. And uh, I got another unboxing. I got something in the mail today that I ordered. If you're a ColecoVision fan, stay tuned. We're going to open this bad boy up now. Recently, Collector Vision. If you don't know who they are, look them up. Definitely go to their website if you're a ColecoVision fan. Well, if you're any old game fan, because they also make new games for old systems. Like the Intellivision as well, not just the ColecoVision. So, you know, this was uh, goon enough that I got last year around this time. And uh, they had a couple new games. They emailed us and we were on social media, those of us that bought from them before. Uh, they also made the FPGA ColecoVision Phoenix, which plays all of your old original ColecoVision cartridges and beautiful HDMI. It will also play the ROMs off of an SD card and Atari 2600 ROMs. And uh, I play a lot on that now that my old ColecoVision down in the game room has some artifacting going on. I know how to fix it. I just got to get around to fixing it. I keep saying that. I bought the parts and haven't opened it up to do it. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's open the box from Quebec, Canada. Collector Vision Games. Love it. I absolutely love it. And a lot of times they bring us old arcade classics that were never released to the ColecoVision, which is the case here. And then, like I said, two new games they listed. I bought one there a little over a week ago, which is this one. And I was waiting for payday to get the next one. So it's coming. It's on its way. Now uh, I've got a lot of these. I've got a lot of these in here. Which is good, because they shipped it from Canada to Pennsylvania. Keeping it safe. And they did. This box is in beautiful condition. They make these great boxes for these releases. And they brought to us, Universal's, Mr. Do Run Run. Now, I don't remember this game. I was a big fan of Mr. Do, because back in the day, our local pub, uh, the bar near my house growing up. My dad used to frequent it with his buddies when he worked until midnight and they would go to the bar. But eventually would bring the family there because they had great food. They had the best pizza in the area. They were in the paper several times, Patrick's Pub. And so we would go there. We started going there every single Friday for pizza. My dad would take my mom and me and my brothers and sister. And uh, they had a Mr. Dew's Castle arcade cabinet there and we played the heck out of that so I was introduced to that before I even was introduced to Mr. Do. So you had Mr. Do, Mr. Do's Castle, Mr. Do's Wild Ride and after that I didn't know about any except for like the re-releases on the SNES and Game Boy Color and things like that but Mr. Do Run Run was an arcade game I believe out for other computer systems too but now they brought this to us for the ColecoVision or the Collector Vision Phoenix, however you'd like to play. And this is quality stuff. Keep on running as our hero, Mr. Do, collects all the dots and fruit in this 3D adventure battle against weird and wonderful monsters with his crystal ball or squash them under the rolling logs. The game features a complete arcade environment, comprehensive animation and effects, and a wide range of different and compelling levels. From 1984, Universal, all rights reserved, made in Canada, 2022, Collector Vision, Inc., Montreal, Quebec, printed in Canada. For use with the Super Game Module, or on the Collector Vision Phoenix. Super Game Module is another thing you can order to enhance the games, and there's certain new home brews, pro brews, every brews, uh, home brews, that are made for use with that to enhance your gameplay. So you need to buy one of those. If you have an old ColecoVision, it'll fit right on the front where the Expansion 1 fit. And it'll enhance those new games for you. Uh, or if you buy a ColecoVision Phoenix, I do believe, I believe they're doing a third run. It's taking a while because they're a very small team. Uh, but get your hands on one if you can. Great, great little system. We'll open it up here. and see what's in the box. We have more styrofoam. Exciting for you, Mr. Do Run Run. Cartridge instructions. It's like the good old days. 
you know. I do story time back in kindergarten. It tells you exactly what to do and how to play. And that is really cool. It explains the uh, the scoring to you, so that's really nice. Put that back in there without destroying it. And our cartridge. Brand new, shiny and fresh. So look for some gameplay on that coming up. I said I'm busy right now working six days. Probably uh, next weekend I'll probably have to work straight through the weekend until Thanksgiving. But then Thanksgiving I should get a good, I'm hoping, get a good four days off there. So we'll do the Mr. Do Run Run. And the other game, Safari Race, is another one that I really wanted from them <laughs> since they sent out the email a couple weeks ago. And uh, so I went ahead and bought it yesterday. So it'll probably be here in another week or so. But what's fun about it is it uses the uh, Coleco Expansion 2, which is the steering wheel and the pedal. And I have that in the house. You know, I have Turbo and, and Dukes of Hazard for it. So uh, it's going to be cool to have a, a new game that should have come out back in the day for ColecoVision, but didn't. Uh, Safari Race by Sega, I believe it was. Uh, that's going to be really cool to use a steering wheel, but I have to remember to get to the store and get my C-cell batteries. I don't think I have any laying around anymore, so I've got to get those and get that steering wheel fired up. But this will come first. Maybe I'll do them both on the same day. So that is Universal Mr. Do Run Run. Do Run Run Run. Do Run Run. For your Collector Vision Phoenix, for your Coleco Vision with Super Game Module, if you have that can play this. So go check out Collector Vision's site. I'll put it in the description, a link to it, so you can go right to their page. And they're working on so many killer games, awesome games. There's so much more that these guys can do with these games to enhance them and bring them up on par with an NES or whatever. Uh, great sounds, great visuals with that game, Super Game Module. Just a great thing that we're getting these awesome homebrews for us old geezers like me. And I want to thank you all. I did go up, I think, about 13 subscribers in the last couple of days since my Atari 50 video went up. So to all of you new subscribers, thank you very much. I appreciate it and welcome. And to all of you that have been here forever, thank you so much for being here forever because I never would have imagined I would have come close to cracking 200 when I started this channel about two years ago. So I really do appreciate that as well. And... Hopefully, we'll see you on the next Mr. Poe style video. Later, guys. Nacho, come here, Nacho. No biting, no bite. Ooh, no biting. Oh, Nacho, stop.